Hello everyone, Evan Odegaard here, and I just thought I was going to share a quick tip on how to make an easy HTML or Flash gallery using Adobe Bridge only. Uh, I think this is a smart way to cut down time if you don't know how to make a Flash gallery yourself uh, or HTML gallery. This will be really easy to use for you, and um, also if you are making a website. Uh, this would be not perfect use, but okay in the start at least until you get someone professionally to do it for you, or you buy a professional service or something like that. So yeah, um, all you have to do is uh, find the images you want to add, and you just select them. I'm just going to, for this purpose, select all of them, and then you click this button. Uh, just have to say my bridge is in Norwegian, but uh, the buttons are the same, just name difference. You just click here and do web or PDF, or just click here for output. I think it is in English. So here we are in the output section, and uh, default it will stand on PDF, and you're just going to hit web gallery. And here you have a lot of different options. Uh, personally, I like the HTML gallery the best, so we're going to take a look at that last. Um, so yeah, we can just start with the, the standard one and take a look at that. We're not going to go through them all, but some of them. Um, and then you can just click uh, preview here, and it will make a preview of the site. And here you just have this simple gallery, and you can also just click play. Or go over in full screen. Uh, down here, you have all the options for all your gallery. Um, you have the title, and you have two titles that title and that title. Uh, some information about the gallery, your name, email, information, uh, or copyright information, and stuff. Uh, you can also change all the colors. Uh, change the size of the preview files and here is the output you can either output it to your computer or directly to an FTP server I'm going to show you that a little later I'm just going to take a look at some other uh, this one is my favorite of the flashes I think uh, same as the other one but with an easier flash menu here, which shows more of the pictures. And you can change the size of the minute or the thumbnails and stuff like that. And also for all the designs you can change colors, preview size, and all that stuff. Um, another cool, uh, cool built-in gallery is the postcard viewer. You open it and you will get it out like that and you can just press the one you want to look at and go from the side if you click on the frame here you will jump over and if you click in the middle you will get back here and you know, this is also quite cool and you can also change everything and add picture text and change oops sorry change height and stuff here and the name and stuff like that um, so yeah, uh, going over to the HTML gallery, which looks like this. Uh, I like to use this gallery when I'm delivering files, when I'm shot events and stuff, because they are really or easy and organizable. Uh, so just gonna show you how I do that. Features uh, for this test. I'm going to choose something else to write here. Test gallery. Uh, pictures by me. Here is some. Here is an example of a test gallery. Adobe Bridge. You want to write your name, which will show up down there, and if you push the name, it will directly send you a mail to your email address. 
and you can write all rights this third and the copyright section. Uh, if you want to, you can change the colors. I tend to like the default colors really. Um, just going to hit update. Uh, I really, really like the default colors, as I said. Um, I think they are all right, and you know they pretty much show off what the image are for. So yeah, I'm just going to click on the image. You see here the preview file is really small, so we want to make that bigger, and uh, that you do here. I can just it's uh, 800 pixels. I guess it would be something nice. Hit update, and you can just click in again, and here you have it. Preview. You can also preview in web browser. By clicking uh, preview in web browser, that will open in your web, in your standard web browser, and you can click through the gallery like this. Um, so yeah, uh, you can also uh, change if you go back here to index. Uh, you can change the columns, how many columns you want, and how many rows. So send. Let's see. you have shot uh, some kind of event and you have like 800 pictures to deliver or not 800, 100, let's say 100 you can choose 6 by 6 by 5 and you will have pretty much lots of pictures on the first site uh, I like to do this but for this thing we're just going to have 3 and 3 and just going to update it and also, if you have more than this, it will just create a new page. And it's unlimited how many pictures you can put in one of this. And here, we are going to do the output. And uh, you can either choose the name for gallery and upload it. No, oh, I mean save it to somewhere on your computer. Uh, and then upload it to a web hotel or whatever. Or you can uh, go here on FTP server, type in your information. Uh, just going to call it test gallery, and you're just going to click uh, upload, and it will take some time to connect to your FTP server because you have to make sure all the information and stuff are all right, and you also have to upload all your files. So it's just a wait. Okay, so here it has started the uploading. So it's just uploading all the files and stuff. And another reason why I like to use the HTML, um, I can easily, with my basic HTML knowledge, go in afterwards and change things in the code or add things. Well, that's uh, a nifty feature to know, I think. So yeah, more waiting. It takes some time to upload, depending on your internet speed and stuff. <sighs> but uh, as I said, this is a really easy way to make a web page. And no, it's uploaded, and you just click OK, and we can head over to our web browser again. Go to evanodo.com slash gallery test. Oops, I mean test yeah, gallery. And here it is. So, yeah. An easy gallery to make. Um, yeah, easy. Uh, oh, it's fun to play around with colors and that kind of stuff. So, yeah, uh, I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.